With over 30,000 users and lots of new functionality to offer, the new Salesforce Expector Reloaded Chrome extension has gained a lot of visibility in the past year between Salesforce professionals and power users. While Salesforce Inspector OG remains a well-loved browser extension still being used today, Inspector Reloaded has significantly improved the already familiar experience, adding new functionalities through community contributions as well. Let's take a closer look at 10 of the newest additions. Gone are the days when you had to navigate through setup or to the trust site to obtain key information about your organization. Now you can easily get your org ID, edition, and even the next schedule release date for your org right from the dedicated org tab within Inspector Reloaded. Clicking the hyperlinked words is also going to route you to the dedicated pages. In order for the extension to be even more developer-friendly, a simple yet helpful addition is available in the latest version. The possibility to directly search and open Apex class documentation from the Shortcuts tab. No more Google searches and tab switching for this one. Next, a crucial update can be found now within the brand new Options page. Surely, there have been occasions where you would have liked to move the inspector pop-up from the right side to any different place on the screen. This is now fully customizable to your liking. Other user experience, API, and even data export settings are available on this page, so make sure to check it out. Before we go any further, I'd like to take a few seconds to thank this video's sponsor, Elements.Cloud. AI can make you so much more effective as a sales professional, and I'm blown away by what is achievable with Elements GPT. You should take a look at Elements.Cloud forward slash SFBen. Another addition to the Shortcuts tab is the possibility to rapidly create new flows, custom objects, permission sets, or even custom permissions. Of course, this functionality is meant for sandbox use, but it's nonetheless a significant improvement compared to the setup navigation. While setting up a debug log for a user in Salesforce entails a few steps, with Salesforce Inspector Reloaded, this has just become one click on the Enable Logs button as soon as the user is selected. The default level is SFDC Dev Console for 15 minutes, but this can be easily changed on the Options page. If you're already using Inspector Reloaded, this button is something you have already noticed as soon as it appeared. New records can be created from the Objects tab on the pop-up, regardless if the new button is on the record or list view layout in Salesforce. Finding out a field's API name has never been easier. You can show or hide the field API names while viewing a record's details with the click of a button, either on page layouts or even dynamic forms. Even more so, when clicking the highlighted API name, it will be copied to clipboard for you to further use. Securing access to Salesforce Inspector Reloaded is now a walk in the park with the possibility to install the default connected app or create your own for full control over its settings. Once the setup is complete, you just have to save the consumer key within the options page. Don't forget to set up the user access as well. If you're using custom metadata types in your Salesforce org, you know that updating them may be quite tricky at times. The data import page now allows the possibility to upsert or even delete custom metadata records just as easily as you would data. And last but not least, enjoy your query being automatically filtered by the current record ID when clicking on data export. This allows you to focus on only adding extra fields as needed without having to manually add the where clause anymore. All in all, Salesforce Inspector Reloaded is a Chrome and Firefox extension 
which will not only optimize your flow of work now, but is sure to do so long term with constant enhancements, bug fixes, and of course, new features which will keep coming. Let us know if you already tried it out and what is your favorite new feature in the comments below.